Hey guys, it's Dom from City Warmth here in Brighton, and in today's quick video, we're going to talk you through how to get over an F22 fault code on a Glowworm Compact Combi Boiler. Let's get into it. All right, so an F22 is basically low system pressure on the boiler. You've had a leak somewhere or the pressure relief has operated and the boiler pressure is down to zero, meaning you have no heating and hot water. It's really quite simple and straightforward how to top up. Let's get into it now. Here's your F22 flash in between F22, the fault code for low system pressure. Then it shows you the pressure the boiler is at and the core temperature of the boiler. What we wanna do is look for the method of putting water back into the boiler. These compacts don't come with their own filling link, so you're looking for a filling loop somewhere on the pipework on or around the boiler. Similar to this, right. This one has two black plastic taps to turn. It doesn't matter which one you do first. You do one, then the other. What you're gonna to wanna to do before you open both those is toggle using this button here to the pressure section of the boiler. It doesn't show you when it gets to the correct pressure, what the correct pressure is otherwise, and it's very easy to overpressurize these leading to other problems. So make sure you've got that pressure gauge uh, symbol there flashing with the exact number of what the boiler is doing. Then open both of the black plastic taps, enough to hear water running. Go up and watch that pressure climb. When we get to about 1.0 to 1.5, we want to close both those taps because that pressure is good on this boiler. There we are, 1.0, 1.0. Come on, 1.2. One more and I'll close both the taps. Right, back down, close both these taps to across the pipework so they have shut like a gate. And then your boiler is good to go. No need to press any reset or do anything else. Just go and open the tap. Having topped up the system pressure, there is nothing else for you to do on the boiler. You haven't got to press a reset or anything else. You've just got to let the boiler go through a purge mode where it's basically bleeding itself of any air that's got it inside. An important safety feature to stop it overheating. But it does mean you're going to need to leave it for about five to 10 minutes having topped up the pressure. Once it's finished making this noise, it'll be ready to go and you can use the heating and hot water again. But once the noise is finished, please go back and check the system pressure is still okay, as it might have lost a little bit whilst it's been getting rid of the air in itself. So top it up again if you need to, otherwise you're all good to go. Thanks ever so much guys, well done for doing that on your own, good job. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to stay up to date on any other homeowner videos we upload that could help you in the future. See you soon, bye bye.